Hi everybody, and thanks for watching. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to configure compliance scanning inside of Tenable One and Tenable Vulnerability Management. To get started, we'll go to our main menu and select scans. And then on the far right, we'll select create scan. We'll be brought to a page where we have all of our different scan templates available. We'll select policy compliance auditing. And I'm gonna type in a name for the scan. Windows Server 2019. We'll select a scanner to run the scan, just like a regular vulnerability scan. And then we'll also put in the IP address of our target. We can schedule this scan to run repeatedly if we'd like on a scheduled basis. We can also put in uh, email or phone number so we can get notifications when the scan is complete. I'm not going to do any of this today. I will add credentials to the scan. Credentials are required for uh, compliance audits. I'm going to select a manage credential since I have my credentials saved already and select my Windows credentials. Once that's been added, I'll go to the compliance section, add a compliance audit file, and I'm going to look for my Windows Server 2019 compliance files. So what I'll select here is my Windows Server 2019 Level 2 CIS benchmarks. I'll select it. The Windows Server version is pre-populated. And I'll select Save. That's really all there is to it. After this, I can save my scan and run it later, or select Save and Launch to begin running it now. And the scan will run. I'm going to let this run as it's going to take a little bit and we will explore in another video how to look through the policy compliance audit results. Thanks for tuning in and before, be sure to check back soon for any new videos and tips and tricks with Tenable One and Tenable Vulnerability Management.